Good afternoon, everyone. Cracks visible now around Ta'al Volcano in the Philippines. The latest update they have from aerial reconnaissance is this steam plume. U.S. government approving research for geoengineering climate intervention. Oh, they're far too late. Geoengineering for your breakfast in Czech Republic or geoengineering for your sunset in Czech Republic. Now, with all the geoengineering, add in the particulate pollution, the volcanic aerosols from all these new eruptions beyond Ta'al. And you might want to ask yourself if these programs are being implemented by old money without your best interest in mind. What are the scariest things happening in the world right now that could devastate your retirement and savings? The Iran conflict or the disruption of global oil supply in such an event? Global stock market crash? Highly possible. What are you doing to protect yourself from the potential of major economic turmoil? Many are turning to gold and silver, and Patriot Gold Group is Consumer Affairs top-rated gold IRA dealer. Call today or request a free investment kit. The link's in the description box below. PatriotGoldGroup.com And now, on to the video. Latest updates here from Severe Weather EU to Al Volcano. Cracks are continuing to grow larger around the caldera. They have uplifting of anywhere from one to two feet of a 17 mile radius. Unbelievable the amount of land uplift happening. Let's take a look here. Howard Johnson putting out at least images where he's close to with the cracks widening by a few centimeters over the last day. And after the first eruption, you can see on the right, just a little bit south of the house there, cracks forming in the earth. Okay, so these are fissures that are forming. And this is the current map that's being put out by Five Volks, which is the Philippine Volcanic Observatory. Anywhere you see a red dot is where a fissure has been located. And you notice the clustering is to the south and the west. Now that one fissure crack that you see on the south end of the volcano itself, water is starting to empty out of the lake into that. So they're expecting something uh, larger on the eruptive scale moving forward, time unknown. But the aerial reconnaissance done on the morning of the 17th shows the steam plume still about the same height, around 800 meters, 2,400 feet or so. But now there's actual real satellite imagery making the rounds of the eruption itself during those days. Philippines right in the center and you can see that ash plume coming out, making that narrow curve going towards southern Taiwan. Look at the visible here and you can see that same amount of volcanic ash. Really you can see it a bit better with the visible satellite. A different satellite here, even though that teal tapers off into the dark black, you can still see that's a volcanic ash trail. 60,000 feet, this is a mid-latitude eruption that's going to be spreading ash around a different part of the planet. Now the MIT Review here just last month putting out U.S. government has approved funds for geoengineering research. They're calling it climate intervention, which is now a scary thing for me because it's going to be a permanent thing and they're going to require global taxes even though it's a natural cycle, with our planet going through these upheavals in our weather, just as this Atlantic multidecadal oscillation here undulates from warm to cool, warm to cool on a 60-year cycle. While Earth's weather is no different, it's just a much longer cycle. Medieval warming period, cooling down into the Little Ice Age, back up into, oh yeah, it's warm now, guess what? We're going to drip right back into the cool again. This is about a 980 year cycle. Fully natural and we don't need anything to do with geoengineering to block our skies with runaway possibilities. They want to call it solar climate intervention. And they're setting aside at least $4 million for NOAA to conduct stratospheric monitoring. Hey, wait, didn't Harvard also start their own private geoengineering program in spring of 2019? But as I sit here in Southern Czech Republic, it looks like the U.S. government's way too late because the geoengineering I witnessed over the last couple days, here it is at sunrise. And then later on in the exact same day for sunset, we're seeing these crisscrosses in the sky. 
U.S. government's decades late. This looks like it's a full implemented program already over Europe. So add these three factors together and see what outcome you might envision with a large volcanic eruption equivalent to Pinatubo if Ta'al goes off to anything remotely close to what they're expecting. So we have the geoengineering, which you've just seen. Now we have the particulate matter, the air pollution here over Asia, Africa. So if there is an eruption and there is more block out of the sunlight, we're going to get a triple whammy. And take a look at some of these recent eruptions here. Cerro La Cumbre off the Galapagos. Remember when you see the dinosaurs as a kid, you always saw the lava coming down. It reminds me of that exactly. Mexico again continues on and on and then we just had Ta'al. So geoengineering ongoing, pollution in our atmosphere. And nobody's talking about what could happen with a runaway event here. Oh, maybe the old money is trying to lead us down the wrong path. Your best interest at the front of their thoughts? I don't think so. If we do witness a very large eruption equivalent to Pinatubo, you're going to add these other factors in that weren't around in 1991. So Pinatubo cooled the globe a full six-tenths of a degree Celsius, which is more than one degree Fahrenheit. But the geoengineering wasn't so ongoing at that point. The amount of global pollution was far less 30 years ago than it is now. So add a plus, a plus, a plus. And what do you think the outcome is going to be? And how prepared are you for these types of emergencies? With either simple respirator masks, how about your long-term food storage? What about your water supply? Adapt 2030 in My Patriot Supply, 2-week grab-and-go food crate, or the 4-week food supply. The link's in the description box below along with water filtration and others that can help you get through some of these unexpected events that seem to be happening daily and weekly now. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. And I will see you next time.